The Share Pickers Podcast with Justin Waits. This is book four in the series of best-selling investment books. And this is The Little Book of Common Sense Investing by John C. Bogle. And he's a bit of a legend if you don't know him. Uh, invented the Vanguard funds and he became a pariah on Wall Street because he challenged fund managers and hedge fund managers who charge, you know, people who invest. He said, I can beat you with a low cost alternative. Didn't believe him. He beat them the first year. And they said, well, just fluke. He beat them again and again and again. And he wanted everyone to start investing in an easy way. But, um, yeah, it's worth reading about J- John Bogle. In fact, he died. When did he die? Uh, Jack Bogle is, is what he's called. But he died about five years ago. Time flies, though, doesn't it? Um, so it's a, this book is a highly regarded investment book that advocates for passive investment strategy using low-cost index funds. Bogle, the founder of the Vanguard Group, presents his principles for successful long-term investing and challenge the notion of active stock picking and market timing. So he, he challenges his notions. I would say, if you're you know, a private investor, a low-cost index fund or some kind of diversified low-cost fund should make up the majority of your portfolio and you should pay into this on a monthly basis and that will form your retirement nest egg. Um, and in fact, the older you get, the percentage of your portfolio mix up should get bigger and bigger and bigger. So you put on a monthly basis, you know, by the time you get to sort of 60, it should be at least, you know, I say 80% of your portfolio. And then the rest of the 20% you can mess around with. But then you're insured pretty much a guaranteed, uh, you know, a decent nest egg. And then you can try and make money elsewhere. They can feed into that fund, maybe. Anyway, here's a summary of the key seven key ideas covered in the book. Number one, index fund investing. Bogle advocates for investing in low-cost index funds that aim to replicate the performance of a specific market index, such as the S&P 500. He argues that index funds offer broad market exposure, diversification, and lower costs compared to actively managed funds. And in fact, uh, my sons, uh, I pay into their... S&P 500 index fund through Vanguard and uh, a Vanguard 100% life strategy equity fund as well on a monthly basis. Two, cost efficiency. Bogle emphasizes the impact of costs on investment returns. He believes that high fees such as management fees and trading costs erode investment gains over time. Bogle advises investors to focus on minimizing costs and recommends index funds due to the low expense ratios. Three, market efficiency. The book highlights the concept of market efficiency, suggesting that the collective wisdom of investors and the availability of information make it difficult to consistently outperform the market. Bogle argues that attempting to beat the market through active stock picking or market timing is unlikely to yield consistent success. That's the thing. Sometimes it's a false economy. You see a lot of people trading and all that stuff, and they go up and down. They boast about their winners, don't talk about their losers so much. And over time, you think, are you actually making money? You can if you're very good and you spend a lot of time at it. But most people don't have that time or effort. But also there's trading costs involved. So there is market efficiency. Okay, um, number four, long-term perspective. Bogle promotes a long-term investment approach and encourages investors to have patience and discipline. He emphasizes that successful investing is a marathon, not a sprint, and that short-term market fluctuations should not distract investors from their long-term goals. At five, asset allocation and diversification. Bogle emphasizes the importance of asset allocation and diversification in management investment risk. He advises investors to spread their investment across different asset classes, such as stocks and bonds, based on their risk tolerance and investment objectives. At six, investment behavior. Bogle highlights the impact of investor behavior on investment returns. He warns against succumbing to emotions such as fear and greed, which can lead to poor investment decisions. Bogle encourages investors to stay the course, avoid market timing, and focus on their long-term investment plan. And number seven, importance of saving. The book stresses the importance of saving and the role it plays in building wealth over time. Bogle recommends consistently saving and investing a portion of income to benefit from the power of compounding returns.
And a quote from this book is, investing is not nearly as difficult as it looks. Successful investing involves doing a few things right and avoiding serious mistakes. That's sort of true, isn't it? You know, it's it, it, it literally, if you look at an index fund and just put in a bit of way every month consistently, over time, you'll build up a nice little nest egg with a good return. If you try and chase bigger profits, you can get them. There's also more risk where that reward lies. So you could end up losing money there. Anyway, that's Jack Bogle, and it's a little book of common sense investing. The Share Pickers Podcast with Justin Waite.